Hi everyone, John here, All Miniatures Great and Small. Today I'm doing a quick video um, unboxing some German uh, Ghost Panzer gaming set for Flames of War. This is part of the uh, Eastern Front uh, release, the compilation release, uh, so they had some new uh, dice tins. I am currently painting up um, some Eastern Front Germans in the gray paint scheme, so I thought I would want some matching uh, German dice because I'm just that way. Now, obviously you don't need these to enjoy uh, the game. You can play the game of Flames of War without these, uh, but they certainly do add some flavor and some fun to the game, at least in my opinion. All right, so on the back we see the contents. Uh, we have uh, 20 tokens, two objectives, and 16 dice. And you have this really cool looking kind of freaky ghost panzer thing there. Okay, let's go ahead and open it up. I have a lot of these dice tins. All right, so we got these in bags, which is fine. Let's look at the tokens. Normally there's nothing spectacularly awesome about these. These are tokens that are very helpful to play the game. You have two objective to uh, markers. Very cool looking. You have all the tokens. I love that they put the pin down and the bailed out on the same token. In previous, like version three and early version four, these there were bailed out tokens and they're pinned down tokens. But in essence, they kind of did the same thing for vehicles or infantry, depending on what they were. So they're putting it on the same counter makes sense. I wish they would have done that from the get-go. You also have gone to ground markers. You have a cool leader marker, which is, I believe, this triangular one. Ranged in markers, which you always need if you have artillery. And some foxholes to mark your infantry that or gun teams that are dug in. So again, 20. Um, usually it's more than enough. If ever I've run out of anything, it's been like the bailed out tokens pinned down. But that's would have to be pretty rare because you need to have eight of those units, well, more than eight to actually start getting short on tokens, which usually doesn't happen. Okay, now the dice. Everyone knows the first dice roll kind of sets the mood and tempo for the dice. So let's give it a good shake. That sounds good so far. Are these gonna be good dice or bad dice? All right, well. We got four sixes. We've got four ones. All right, we're, we're, there we got two fives. We got two twos. We got two threes and two fours. <clears throat> so I don't know, that could, that's about as average as you could possibly get with these dice. So if they roll average like that, I think um, I'm going to be quite happy, so. There you go. Um, let's do it one more time, just to see. All right, we got three sixes, only one one, four fives, three twos, three four. Okay, so that's a a pretty good roll with only one one. These would be the only ones that would fail a firepower on a three plus, which I have the biggest problem with. So there you go. <clears throat> My purely unscientific test for these dice look like they're gonna be good dice for me. So I get to add these to my pile and hopefully they will serve my Eastern Front Germans well. All right guys. Thanks for watching. If you do like our Flames of War content, please do consider uh, checking out our Flames of War Patreon, where patrons get access to a Flames of War battle report um, once a month. That's exclusive to them. Also, um, we have uh, YouTube memberships active. So if you like uh, what we do on our channel, 
um, you know, just site-wide, not just Flames of War, but everything that we do, and you want to support the channel that way, consider uh, YouTube memberships, and YouTube memberships get access to cool um, badges, emojis, uh, and uh, things like that, as well as early access to videos. If uh, you also like our content, please do consider clicking like and subscribe. That helps us uh, help you guys make the content you guys want to see. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching and keep on gaming.